Welcome to a new video. It's been a while since I've done a project video on the channel and it's not that I've not done any projects. I've designed lots of things this year. It's just that they're part of my consulting business under an NDA so they can't be shared. You may be familiar though with the uh, Volink, the USB to serial adapter that I designed a while ago. It's quite popular on my Tindy store with lots of orders coming in and for good reason if you ask me this is an awesome reliable USB to serial adapter and to extend its functionality I also created this which is um, a Shelly relay adapter that can be used to flash Shelly relays but in a safe and reliable way by also powering the relay during the flashing procedure so you don't need to have anything connected to mains while doing it. If you'd like to order a Volt link then you'll find it on my Tindy store there will be a link in the description of the video so check it out. And so far I haven't had any issues with these uh, boards that I'm building. Uh, not one single module with problems and I've probably made several hundreds of these already. It's a pretty simple design in terms of uh, PCB. The components are 0603 so there isn't much that can go wrong but recently I've started thinking about testing these. Now the topic of test jigs and testing electronics in general can get pretty deep and complicated especially if you need to implement it in the manufacturing process and keep track of the test results, serial numbers in an automated fashion but for hobby level we can scale it down and it can be much simpler. For example depending on the number of units you manufacture you can also skip testing altogether because if I'm going to sell a hundred of these boards and one of them ends up defective, I can live with that 1% failure rate and I can cover the cost of shipping another board to that customer and all this with zero resources wasted uh, on testing these but at the expense of one unhappy customer who needs to wait for another unit to be shipped. Now that 1% failure rate, rate can be an entirely different story if you're ma making uh, let's say 100k of these. So mainly for me that was the main factor for wanting to test these to avoid having unhappy customers, disappointed customers that might end up getting a bad unit and I don't really need to test for all of the things uh, to make sure they're working, I just need to figure out if I have like a working connection from the USB uh, side of the system all the way up to the uh, Shelly relay and also verify that this path can be used to communicate over serial and uh, just toggle the reset lines that are needed to flash an ESP device. This kind of test would eliminate for example a lot of the more uh, most common issues like soldering problems with the uh, USB Type-C connector or with the QFN chip or uh, problems inside the PCB copper layers or with the uh, GST uh, the connectors or pigtail connecting the adapter board or even uh, soldering issues with this uh, tiny adapter board. So all of these would be eliminated if I would have a test jig to test for that. So here is uh, what I came up with a uh, series of six of these uh, Shelly adapters changed together in series uh, with an ESP32 at the end of the chain and I would be uh, connecting a uh, volt link uh, at the start of the chain through this connector uh, and then the UART signal would then go through uh, all six of uh, these modules in series until finally connecting to the ESP32 at the end and um, I, I would be writing a small test firmware that would just communicate over serial to verify that the whole chain is connected correctly and maybe flash an LED, I'm not sure yet. But I have designed these uh, PCBs in uh, KiCad and ordered a set of these uh, plus the associated uh, steel uh, stencil from PCBWay.com. They also included these uh, nice PCB rulers and they're the official provider of printed circuit boards uh, for the Volog channel. Right now they're running their fifth annual PCB design cost contest. So if you have some designs that you would like to submit why not do it for a chance to win one of the juicy cash prizes. The PCBs uh, turned out great as usual with PCB Way, and I went with a red solder mask for this. And here is a question for my audience. Do you like to color code your PCBs? Like for example green means prototype, red means 
test jig black could be production version and I can't say I've done that so far but uh, I think it can be very uh, handy and nice way of keeping track of what type of design you have on your bench uh, or in some box with a simple glance so let me know, let me know in the comments if you uh, use this technique so here it is I have assembled one of these boards and um, as you can see I have various cutouts uh, on the um, uh, main board I thought it would be nice if I could like 3d print some plastic levers that would maybe help, help uh, pop each individual module from its socket after I'm done testing but I don't know if it's worth the trouble I'll have to see how easy it is to use it in practice so far I like it I don't think I need the le levers but like I said, I'm only doing low numbers, so I can barely justify the test jig uh, complexity as it is. Not sure I want to spend more time increasing the complexity working on this test jig instead of like other interesting projects. And here is a short clip from my computer uh, where I have the test jig connected over USB and um, I'm uh, starting the flashing procedure from a terminal window using the ESP tool the signal passes in a series like I've shown earlier uh, through all of the uh, six individual modules until reaching the ESP32 uh, and when flashing is complete the processor boots up and flashes the LED confirming that the whole signal chain is functional. Now of course this can be expanded to cover all sorts of edge cases and make it bulletproof but like I said in my particular case it's just not worth the trouble. If you're doing tens of thousands of boards then it starts making sense to have a bulletproof test jig that is even easier to operate and uh, can test multiple boards in a panel at the same time and it also keeps track of the tests it performed but for me this is good enough that was pretty much all I had to share for today uh, but I would really like to hear your feedback in the comments below it would be interesting to know if you guys use test jigs either at your uh, workplace or for hobby projects maybe some of my viewers also make small batches of boards and need testing so leave a comment below if that's the case if you'd like to support the channel for the awesome content i produce you can start by hitting the like button on this video and you can also join my patreon for as little as one dollar per month thank you for watching and i'll be seeing you next time